The Role of the Allopolarii in the Roman Empire Today on Echoes Through Time Channel, in ancient Rome, the Allopolarii were specialists in hair removal, usually slaves or freedmen, who worked for the upper classes in public baths or in the domus, houses, of the wealthy. Their main task was to remove body hair, which was considered an essential part of hygiene and personal care at the time. These professionals used various methods and products, such as tweezers, creams, and waxes, to keep the skin smooth and hair free. Depilatory creams could be made from natural resins, such as pine resin, which were mixed with other ingredients to form a sticky paste applied to the skin. As the paste dried, it hardened and was removed, pulling out the hair. It was also common to use oils, such as olive oil, mixed with ground abrasive ingredients like pumice or crushed shells to create an exfoliating ointment. This ointment was rubbed onto the skin to remove hair. Some plants and herbs were used in other depilatory systems. It is believed that certain plants with astringent and depilatory properties, such as ivy or moss, were ground and mixed with other ingredients to create a paste that weakened the hair, making it easier to remove. For the use of waxes, beeswax was a common ingredient due to its ability to adhere to hair. It was melted and mixed with resins and oils, then applied hot to the skin. As it cooled, the wax hardened and was quickly removed, pulling the hair out from the root. Similarly, sugar and lemon, although more associated with other cultures, were also used in Rome. This was a mixture of sugar and lemon juice used to create a sticky paste similar to modern sugaring. This mixture was heated until it became a caramel, applied to the skin, and removed with fabric strips or directly with the fingers. Although the Allopolarii did not receive a direct salary for their services, as it was part of their duties under the ownership or employment of their masters, their services were highly valued. They could receive tips or gratuities from satisfied clients, and in some cases, especially if they were freedmen, they could charge for their services independently. The public baths where they worked charged an entrance fee that included access to various facilities and services, such as hair removal. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe for more content.